Hmm, what's this we have here on this display hook? We better check it out. What's up guys, BD Wiz here again. Today we're gonna look at another mini amp. This is actually a Nano Class D amp from a company called Sound Digital out of Brazil. This is the SD400.1D, the two ohm version. You can see this really cool case here. On one end we have the connections for the power, remote, and ground, and also the speaker outputs. And you can see the case here clear. You can see all the components inside. There's a fan in the middle to help keep everything nice and cool. On the opposite end, we have some adjustments for level control. We have a low pass filter, which ranges from 50 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. Uh, yeah, it's quite a, quite a range there. There's also a high pass crossover here, which adjusts up to five kilohertz and a single RCA jack. And then at the top, we also have speaker level inputs in case you don't have RCA level inputs. Here's a size comparison of the recent Kicker PX200.1 we tested and also the Lapai LPV3 and gives you an idea of the size of the amp. And then we got out the instruction manual. Everything here is in Portuguese but I can read it enough to tell what the wattage ratings are. 400 watts at 12.6 volts, 500 watts at 14.4, 5000 PMPO. Thankfully they didn't put it on the box and everything but uh, you can see the other ratings there. Pretty impressive for an amp quite so small. Here's the Sound Digital website, the English version. And also if you go to Amazon, check the video description. I'll have a link where you can pick one of these up if you're interested. The price may fluctuate a little bit from what you see here, but it gives you an idea. Now here you can see the insert terminals for the power and ground. It's about 10 gauge. I was not able to get eight gauge in without doing some finagling to the wire here. So I used my wire strippers and I shredded it down a little bit, make it small enough so it would fit, twist it nice and tight. We were able to get the power and the ground in with eight gauge connections, which uh, should have given us all the current that we needed. All right, now we'll turn it on so you guys can get a listen to it starting up. All right, now it's amp dyno time. First off, we're gonna try the amp hooked up at four ohms. It's not rated anywhere in the manual at four ohms. Certified 40 Hertz. What you may notice is the distortion light stayed on the whole time. Didn't really count up cleanly. I started it again just to double check. And yeah, we got 204 watts at four ohms, 14.12. And we pulled 24.9 amps of current. So next up we tried two ohms and again, the distortion light just pretty much stays on the entire time, but it did give us a clean rating of 333 watts at 13.9 volts, 36 amps of current pull. All right, so now let's do the one ohm test, 1% THD 40 Hertz and see if this amp can do its rated power. And wow, 447 watts, it's rated 400. So yes, it did do its rated power. Very nice at 13.46 volts. Big two thumbs up from Big D. And we pulled 59.2 amps, which efficiency is not so good, but hey, little amp did its power. So let's try uncertified this time up to clipping. You can notice this time we can actually see the numbers counting up. And again, very good. Yeah boy! 476 watts, 13.64 volts. And we pulled 62.7 amps, so efficiency again, not so good, but uh, yeah, still impressed with this little amp. So one ohm dynamic RMS, this is a pulse track at 40 hertz, kind of like a kick drum. That's what I'm talking about. You can see here the inrush current measured by the Fluke, 86.2 amps, wow. All right, next up we'll try a couple subwoofer tests here. First up we'll try the JL Audio 8W6s, I have them wired all in parallel. Gives us 1.4 ohms. Let's give a listen, see what it sounds like. Damn, shit bump. 
Alright guys, so here are the results. You guys just saw the test, so you know what the results are, but I want to highlight the main part here, the 1 ohm 40 hertz test, which again, it beat its rating in all different tests, which is nice. Good job, Sound Digital. Thank you for not overrating an amplifier. This one has a big D seal of approval. It's not unusual to be mad with everyone. All right, guys, thanks as always for watching. That's the end of this test. Make sure you subscribe for more tests coming soon. Big D Wiz. Until next time, I'm out of here. All right, just as an interesting comparison, I'm gonna try the little sound digital here at 100 hertz, uncertified, one ohm. Let's see if it does any different than the 40 hertz. All right, nice. 515 watts, 13.6. 45.3 amps of current.